with our top story on the show as the threat of water scarcity looms over Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. Politicians blame the weather gods. But an NDTV investigation has found that it's really politics that's responsible for the crisis because precious water reserves that could have been a lifeline for farmers have been drained as the Narmada waters have now been used or pumped out. They were made to pump out excess electricity before the Lok Sabha elections. Srinivasan Jain reports. In Madhya Pradesh and in Gujarat, farmers confront a looming crisis. According to the Met Department, rainfall shot by 60% in western Madhya Pradesh, in Gujarat, 90%. It's now that the mega Narmada river dams, the lifeline for these regions, are meant to come to the people's rescue. But today, water levels in the Indira Sagar Dam down to 7%, in Sardar Sarovar down to 25%. The reason for the shortfall goes back to the crucial months before summer kicked in. As election season built up, rather than conserve this water, these dams generated disproportionate amounts of hydel power. In just February alone, 725 million units generated, more than double of that of last year. See, before election, the government wants to, to give maximum power to the, to the grid and the people, and they want to show that there are minimum deficits. Uh, and they want cheapest power. In response to our query, the Narmada Control Authority, which oversees the Sardar Sarovar Dam, says that the generation was higher this year since water made available was much higher. But it says regarding the apprehension of deficit monsoon, it was taken into account and the generation was stopped from 3rd June 2014. Jainarayan Vyas, former Narmada minister in the Gujarat government, didn't rule out election time power surges, but said that the looming drought could not be anticipated. Well, I won't rule out. I don't think power was generated for elections, but the respective states, for example, if you look at Uttar Pradesh, they were comfortable uh, situation, more or less, uh, just uh, till the day uh, of the election, and all of a sudden the state government buying power. But by February this year, several internationally reputed forecasters were predicting a drought for India because of the return of the El Nino phenomenon. But instead of setting off alarm bells, it appears that short-term political gains may have exacerbated the water crisis for the farmers of these states. With Nihamasi, Srinivasan Jain for NDTV.